Hey guys, so today I'm gonna cover the 3.6 update, my overall thoughts of it, and kind of where the game is going for this season. So let's dive into it. Uh, let's see here, they did some, they added the new World Tour set, so they'll have uh, some more additional uh, missions for this World Tour, plus that additional new skin. And then they added some Twitch drops, so cool. And then let's dive into some balance changes, so they changed the Goo Grenade. I'm kind of happy they made this change. The goo did disappear pretty quick with fire. Now, I'm also kind of a fan of this because it makes the goo really fun to cover something with and then light it on fire because I mean, it just stays on fire. And I like that. Kind of more of a deterrent. And then they made some changes to some game modes. They'll have some dev notes. We'll dive into that a little bit. So this is a very interesting change right here. This section here that they are going to do a 30% cash box is now worth to the team who deposits it. And then the other 70% goes to the team who has the cash out station. Now, I don't know, I guess in, in some cases you get more or less money other than the original, like just $2,000 you get for just putting it in since you technically can put multiple cash boxes in. I, I wonder how much this is going to have an effect if if this is going to work in your favor against your favor i i, I don't know but i'll, I'll be kind of curious and then this part i'm not a fan of i think they should have kept this uh the reason i say that is because it really kept your team in in play and you needed to be smart about it right and yeah and sure in some cases another team's gonna walk walk up on you maybe you do a team wipe on you if all three of you are standing on the roof, but you were asking for it. So I, I think they should, I, and I think they maybe did this to help new players, maybe more so that are getting into this cash out, but that's just kind of my overall thoughts of it. And then they increased the time taken to steal. I'm not a fan of that one either. I think the time to steal was fine. There've been plenty of times when it's like, you get that steal at like the last second and or you're at the last second and you die. So I think I think overall the steal was was pretty good. Now maybe maybe in some cases when the steal is happening, it, you only got six seconds to do something before someone steals it. So, but I mean the TTK in this is pretty low. I mean you can finish off a class generally. You're hitting all your shots less than one and a half seconds. So and then their, their dev notes. We felt like for some time that cash out generates more third party fights than intended. I don't know about that. I, I think that just kind of lends itself to third party fights. That's just cash out. Like, I think there's a strategy in which you let, you might get team wipe. You don't push in, you let the teams fight. Then you push in finally while the other team is hurt. Um, I think that's just part of it. I think that's part of the game and setting, you know, your defenses up properly. But I think that's just part of this game. I think that's kind of what makes it who it is in a little bit is about some of this third party fights. I'm not a big fan of when they do cash outs in which it's four teams, two separate cash outs, and it turns into generally two teams on either side of the map fighting and no interaction. So that's just kind of my overall thoughts. I, I prefer more of multiple teams interacting. It makes it more hectic, makes it a lot more fun, engaging, and then ranked terminal attack, did some destruction stuff, and then more terminal attack and ranked terminal attack change some stuff for the healing and how much the thresholds are for being healed after the fact. And then they increase the cooldown duration so or increase the cooldown duration. So your takes about another second for a charged evasive da dash. And then the fire changed the goo and then decrease the cooldown from 10 seconds to eight seconds of the grappling hook. I'm happy about this. I, the grappling hook is really cool but I think they should also completely remove the cooldown on a grappling hook if it doesn't hit anything. Just kind of my overall thoughts. But, and then the healing beam, they're still kind of tweaking this a little bit, I think more and more, but I think it's a fine change. We'll see just to make the healing beam. It's, it's, it's a nerf to the healing beam is what it is. 93R, which I believe is for the light. It's whatever, not a fan of this gun. The light has substantially a lot better guns than this gun. So I think they're just trying to put it out there as a another viable option, but in all honesty, it's kind of a dud gun in my opinion. And then they got some contracts and then some gadget changes and then uh, goo grenade fixes, private match changes. So now I think it looks like you can have people just spectate your private matches. Some world tour stuff, some rank stuff, some specializations, fix an issue with some specials could be locked and I build a fire or use UI front end menus, ping system. Looks like they made some changes to that. Um, so cool. And then fix an issue where some weapons could become locked and then build a fire use. I think I've seen this before, but I, I, it's not been recent and uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe. But overall, I think this update was was good. 
Um, so not super substantial, but moving in the right direction, making light tweaks. I think I'm just gonna say at the end of the day, this game is not great for newcomers. I don't think it is, um, but a great FPS game, it's fun. I enjoy it. The balancing in this still needs to be tweaked in my opinion for just the casual player. I'm not a ranked player. I'm not about playing with the most meta stuff. I wanna play with what's kind of fun. This kind of gives me back to like TF2 days where just a whole bunch of shenanigans going on. That's all I want. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. What are you guys looking forward to? What changes would you guys like to see out there? Uh, I'd be, I'd love to hear you guys' comments and hope to catch you guys out in the finals. You guys have a good on one. On behalf of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.